This video reviews two-hand surgical knot tying. Two-hand knot tying is a very common surgical technique. It can be performed with either the right or left hand and is very popular in people who are learning how to suture and knot tie because it's easy to tie square knots with this technique. When starting a two-hand knot, the suture tail drapes across the palm and the tail should point towards the person tying the knot. The bottom three fingers will control tension on the suture and the suture will drape across the index finger. The overall position of the hand that's being used to tie the knot should be in the shape of the letter C. Note the yellow arrow here points towards the direction that the suture tail should point. It doesn't matter which hand is being used to tie the knot, the overall approach and starting position is the same. We'll go through this slowly, but watch how the suture tail passes into the C, the fingers rotate, the tail is passed through and pinched by the thumb and index finger, and then the knot is cinched down. The second half of the knot begins by once again making a C with the thumb and index finger and draping the suture behind the thumb. The suture tail passes between the thumb and index finger, they rotate, pinch closed, pass the tail through, and then cinch the knot down. Let's go through this again a little bit slower. Once again, we start with a C. Watch in slow motion. As the fingers close, the hand rotates, then the suture that's on the index finger will then move onto the thumb. The fingers open, and this allows the suture to be passed once again between the thumb and index finger. As the fingers rotate, the tail is passed through the loop and the knot can be cinched down. Keeping the suture on your fingertips will make it easier to pass through the loops. As we prepare for the second half of the knot, watch the thumb as it pushes the suture along the fingernail this creates a C and has the suture in the perfect position to begin the second half of the knot. Again, the suture passes into the C, the fingers closed, and the hand rotates. The suture that's on the thumb will now pass onto the index finger. Then the suture is grasped between the thumb and index finger and then is passed back through the loop. Next, the suture is cinched down and the knot is complete. When cinching the knot, use your fingertips to push the knot down to make sure it sits flat and tight. The thumb and index finger move back into the C position and we're ready for the next knot. Let's watch a few knots with the left and the right hand to get an idea of the overall feel of this technique. When learning how to tie two hand surgical knots, it's best to tie without gloves. Tying with gloves makes it harder to feel the suture, which can make it more difficult to tie knots. Large practice material such as string or shoelaces is ideal to help develop muscle memory before trying this in the operating room.